drinking water. It's there when you need it, but how did it get there? The water we drink, wash, cook, and irrigate with has a long journey before it reaches your tap. The regional water supply system supplies drinking water to approximately 400,000 people and is the third largest drinking water system operating in British Columbia. Drinking water for the Greater Victoria Water Supply System comes from protected watersheds, the Greater Victoria Water Supply Area. This CRD-owned and managed area, approximately 200 square kilometers in size, is located northwest of Victoria. So how does the water get from the reservoir to your tap? The process starts here. Water at the southern end of Souk Lake Reservoir enters this intake tower. The intake tower consists of four different depth levels where the water can be drawn from. Once in the tower, the water is screened through a fine stainless steel moving screen. From the intake tower, the water passes through two pipelines to the head tank. The head tank adjusts water volume in order to maintain a constant water pressure, no matter how much water is being drawn from the system. The water then travels through the Kapoor Tunnel and from there into pipelines connecting the Kapoor Tunnel to the Goldstream Water Treatment Plant, where the disinfection process begins. Drinking water for the Souk service area is supplied from Souk Lake Reservoir, but travels a different route, from a point just above the head tank to the Souk River Road Water Treatment Plant. The CRD treats and delivers an average of 130 million liters of water every day. Both water treatment plants utilize the same three-step disinfection process, UV disinfection, free chlorine disinfection, and ammonia to produce chloramine. Ultraviolet UV light kills bacteria and parasites. The low dose of chlorine kills viruses and provides further protection against bacteria. The tiny quantity of ammonia combines with chlorine to produce chloramines. Chloramine is a long-lasting disinfectant, which protects the water from bacterial contamination as it travels the long distribution system pipelines in Greater Victoria. The Goldstream Water Treatment Facility is staffed 24-7 with provincially certified operators. A SCADA computer system continuously monitors sensors throughout the system and alerts operators to any unexpected readings. The regional water transmission system is comprised of a number of large diameter transmission mains and several connected supply storage reservoirs. Infrastructure renewal is an integral component of the management of the regional water supply system. This is all part of the multi-barrier approach of water supply protection. The operation and maintenance of the drinking water supply system is very important in providing a reliable and sustainable service to our customers. Operators perform on average four kilometers of water main replacements per year, install over 50 hydrants, and repair leaks on service lines and water mains. To ensure the high quality of our drinking water, infrastructure undergoes routine maintenance, such as water main flushing, reservoir cleaning, hydrant maintenance, and valve exercising. Throughout its journey from source to tap, water quality staff are testing the water to ensure it is safe to drink, conducting an average of 58,000 water quality tests per year. It's no secret that the drinking water in Greater Victoria is some of the best in the world. Together, we can ensure we have safe, clean, reliable drinking water for the region now and for generations to come.